Hey champs, so this video is going to have a little bit of different format. Not a whole lot of production value, quick to the point, and just full of information to try to help out some other novices out there on the farm. Um, these grab hooks are a great point for hooking chains on, getting uh, logs out of the woods or what have you. Uh, I wasn't going to make a video on this because I've seen plenty of them that are out there on YouTube that are one, much better welders than I am, and two, already have pretty good producti production value for uh, showing you how to do welding. I didn't see my tractor, so I've got a 2020 Kubota L2501 with the LA525 loader and the quick release um, Bobcat uh, fixture for getting the buckets on and off. And noticing, a lot of the videos with the BX models, those buckets have bolt-on or other parts in the outside areas where it would be easy enough for you to bolt on or weld on hooks. But for this bucket particularly, I realized that I'm not going to be able to get hooks all the way out to the edge because I don't like the lack of bite with these hooks. So I got 3.8 hooks. Uh, then I'm gonna weld on here because for this bucket and everything I was worried that if I put too big of a hook on there that one of these days I'm gonna go too big and end up doing some damage. So 3 8 would be uh, Sufficient anyways back to the bucket. I got one welded onto the center point and Then recognizing that there's not a whole lot to weld to on these outsides here and I was thinking about strength so where the Bobcat attachment hooks in is right here for the loader and I'm thinking that the best area to maintain strength and to get the full effect of the loader is on the edge here. Well if you're a novice welder like myself one of the things you think about is that you've got this lip right here that you're gonna have a difficult time getting into to make your weld so I measured three inches out on both sides and I think that that will give me plenty of room to be able to get the hook on there. I will be a pretty good distance from the center point, so I'll have two external points at about almost 20 inches, so 40 inches apart, and right on uh, the arms of the loader. All right, so there's the finished product before primer and paint. I know I've got a lot of splatter still that I got to work on doing, but I am getting more and more pleased with these welds. I think they'll do. Um, again, this is three inches off of that side there, and it's right in line with the supports that come in from the quick, quick release, quick attach uh, loader attachments and then there's one center point uh, maybe I'll post a little bit later a video on how well they work or whether they just pop off thanks for watching I love you guys and drink water